we had Hurricane Ian that came through here. Uh, many of you know that Olivia and I were out here helping um, people get out of their homes. We were trying to help save animals. We were uh, doing everything we can to get people to safety. We were all over the, the Northport area before we ever even went down to uh, Fort Myers. We were just here trying to help as many homes, as many people as possible get out of their homes and get to safety. And so that was our primary concern. But we had never been back to Myakkahatchee Creek, even though we were right off of Sumter Boulevard uh, here in Northport, helping those families escape the, the flooding waters that were rising. Hi guys, how you doing? Hi. Doesn't look like you fared very well. Huh? Yeah. I lost my uh, roof myself, so. Yeah. So it's getting a little rough where I'm at. Like everything is blowing everywhere. I'm almost scared to go outside. Yes, that is my, um, my roof. My roof is tearing off my uh, plant is almost completely uprooted. Surprisingly, a lot of the Gabby Posito stuff is staying. I'm further south. We're now back in Venice, but I got a call from a friend. They're up in uh, Fort Myers at the Big Lots. They need a lot of cans and uh, non-perishable food items. They're donating all the food and the supply to the Cajun Navy for distribution to the, the residents. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people worldwide uh, that watch my channel and they can't be here to donate food. So I've offered, and I'm only opening up one um, payment source and that's Cash App so I can keep it all together. I'm going to be going first thing in the morning and whatever donations I get until, and you guys got to tag it, uh, Hurricane E. I do apologize about that. I'm going to make this a short live. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on because I see some of the comments which are being rude uh, and the bottom line is is people here in southwest florida yes we have a lot of resources coming in but guess what guys it's not here you know why because we've had flooded bridges we've had we've had no gas um you know so uh we've already got a donation of 50 dollars in um to provide uh some canned goods and other supplies that we will be um uh, distributing to the Cajun Navy tomorrow. If you guys would like to participate, it's literally just tonight because I got to have whatever I'm going to be spending on, on uh, canned goods and stuff. It's got to, I've got to make sure uh, that I have the cash to buy tomorrow morning when I go to the grocery store to, re to pick up the supplies and drop them off at the, Cavi Na at the Cajun Navy for distribution. So if you would like to be a part of that and you would like to uh, help, I know, like I said, I know you guys aren't locally, so it's not like you guys can go and drop cans and diapers and things like that off um, here. So if you would like to donate and would like me to take those, I'm happy to provide receipts. Deets, we've already raised $50 from one wonderful gal uh, that stepped up to the plate and, and did uh, a donation of $50. If you'd like to contribute, again, I, I, please try to keep it if possible to the Cash App, but I know some people, you guys um, use different apps. If you don't have the Cash App, use whatever app to get the funds here if you'd like to participate, um, but make sure that the memo is Hurricane Ian. Um, I may have to set up another cash app in the future because I like I don't like commingling stuff. So please, please, please make sure if you have any donations that are going to Hurricane Ian, those are tagged properly. I don't want uh, you know I want to make sure every penny that's going to them goes to them. Uh, I will also be contributing some canned good items as well from Bullhorn Betty and Bullhorn Betty Channel, um, uh, you know, on our behalf. But again. Uh, if you guys would like to, it's it's not uh, a money grab or anything like that. If you'd like to help, I know a lot of people have been asking, how can they help? How can they help? Honestly, in, in this point, there, there's nothing we can do but provide them resources, provide them water, provide them canned goods, uh, laundry soap, diapers. Those are the things that they need the most uh, down south. You know, we're letting the companies and the corporations take care of the stuff we can't. You know, the the trees, the um, uh, you know, cleaning out people's houses and things like that. That's not my concern. My concern is making sure these people have food and water in their bellies. Uh, we have been hearing that there are plenty. There are a lot of uh, nonprofits coming from out of state to bring in supplies. Uh, I'm sure that there are some here already. Uh, but what the Cajun Cajun Navy has requested is non-perishable items. They've got all the tomato soup that they can handle. They said, please, 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 no more tomato soup. So, um, which is another reason why I thought, you know, I would go out and get the groceries to make sure that there is no tomato soup. <laughs> Apparently, everybody likes to donate tomato soup uh, during hurricanes. <laughs> people are, are, are kind of, uh, they're not into the tomato soup, folks. So just to let you know, okay, so people are picky, even in, even in life-threatening situations. Um, so we're just doing our part here. We documented some pretty horrific uh, scenes down south today, and we'll be coming back down here. Um, I don't know what it's like. I don't know if I've got internet at the house yet. Uh, but I took the opportunity while I had internet here uh, driving to reach out to you guys so you guys can see me. I'm alive. I got 
all my fingers, all my toes, both my eyes. I look like crap and tired. Uh, but I was able to finally sleep last night in AC and, and get some good, good rest. And uh, I got to tell you, that's the one thing that I was uh, missing. I kind of went a little cray cray um, because I'm just I'm at home by myself, you know, and I'm dealing with an awful lot, you know. Uh, people are also saying something like, um, you know, first, when I was talking about my roof, when I was documenting the storm, you know, one strip of, of shingle came off. And the, you know what the hater said? Oh, I bet you she went up there and pulled it off. Yeah, I'm in a category four hurricane, but I'm going to go jump on my freaking roof to pull a shingle off to record it. That's, you know, you guys are really stupid idiots. I have to be honest with you, like totally utter idiots. I heard other people say, oh, we have to pull a shingle off to record it. That's, you know, you guys are really stupid idiots. I have to be honest with you, like totally utter idiots. I heard other people say, oh, but she survived. Why is she complaining? Uh, yeah, babe, I would love for you and you know who you are to come and sit with me during a category four hurricane. And when your butt is done puckering and you're done crying like a little girl, then you can talk, talk about surviving little girl. Then you can talk about that. So I don't want to hear any more. Um, I can tell you um, I'm a little raw with some of the stuff that's been going on on the Internet that I haven't been able to address because I have uh, been out of Internet. But believe me, things will be addressed and they will be addressed very quickly and swiftly. Uh, I'm over it and we're going to get back to cases. But I'm going to want and done this. Believe that. Believe that. Once I'm once I once I get get on there and I, I say my piece, I'm done and I'm not talking about it again. So be on the lookout. Uh, lots of stuff coming on, coming up. Um, and then we got the trip that we're planning. Olivia and I are right now planning. So lots of stuff is going on. A lot of things are moving very quickly. And we have a hurricane where Bullhorn Betty's roof has, is, is decimated. So I'm trying to deal with the roof, trying to deal with work, trying to deal with making sure you guys got things to look at, watch, feel, touch, get a, an idea of what's going on. So hopefully, you know, this is bringing awareness uh, to hurricanes, uh, the dangers of them. Um, you know, we all have our, our own type of mother nature stuff that will decimate and kill us. Uh, hurricanes here in Florida, as well as the tornadoes that are a spinoff from them, are some of those things. And uh, it can be very, very deadly. As many of you guys know, uh, we survived. We're thankful to be on this side of the uh, ground. Uh, you know, we were not in an evacuation area. People are saying, that you know, stuff like uh, you're stupid and you should have heated the evacuation warning. Uh, sorry, but they don't evacuate whole counties if you don't realize that. Uh, they have zones. And um, we've monitored, and even Olivia, she was in one of the first zones that were um, evacuated. She evacuated to what our law enforcement does say. We follow their instructions. Uh, you're right, I don't board up my home. Guess what? Not one window was broken, okay? I can't strap down my roof. So there you have it, folks. Uh, we did follow the rules. We did everything that we were told. Uh, when we were told to shelter in place, we sheltered in place. We wrote it out. We lost power. Some people literally lost entire homes. Homes, homes, folks, homes literally leveled. Uh, we just went through a, a community where there was multiple homes leveled. Uh, those videos will be coming out. Um, but again, you know, these people, believe me, the supplies that are coming in are not going to be enough. You're talking about tens of thousands of people that are that are displaced, tens of thousands of people that have no running water, that have no electricity, uh, tens of thousands of people that have no food, have no way of cooking food. Don't even have a can opener to even open a can to eat it cold. These are the real um, issues right now that are facing the people on the west coast of Florida. Is also hit hard as well. Um, so some of those supplies may need to go up to South Carolina. I will start reaching out to some contacts I have in South Carolina and seeing how we can help uh, with South Carolina as well. Um, I've got to find out. But the, we went to a lot of different places. And believe it or not, one of the hardest hit places that we have found uh, was Northport. Northport and Rotunda. These are areas that aren't even hardly being talked about on the news. And they, outside of the uh, um, uh, beachfront and you know waterfront properties on Fort Myers, most of them are dealing with flooding, but not real, there's not a whole lot of real damage. Um, not like the decimation in Northport that we've seen. You're right, House of Williams, but you know what the problem is with that is that they're complaining about that. But what does everybody do when they have a hurricane or any natural disaster? They evaluate the cost. You know, the bottom line is, is that damage is damage and, and somebody's got to pay for it. Right. Uh, so I'm just expressing what the entire thing. And, if they, you know, if the haters don't want to watch, guess what? They can change the channel. This is the Bullhorn Betty channel. If you don't like Bullhorn Betty or she's too offensive for you. Go find a safe space in a coloring book and get the hell out of this room. It's easy enough. So, you know, we're not here to make uh, people feel all warm and fuzzy. The people that love me, love me. And you guys are here all the time. Um, but, yeah, I'm OK. I'm OK, Kat. Um, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing well, uh, right now. It's a, I'm, as you guys can see, my nerves are shot. You know, I'm, 
um, a little raw. Uh, you know, this experience hasn't been uh, the, the best experience I've had. Uh, it's been, quite frankly, one of the most expensive experiences that I've had in a really long time. My car blowing up was probably the most expensive issue I had in the last decade. Uh, when the mechanics blew up my freaking engine in my car, you know, that was pretty, pretty extensive. That was, you know, six, seven, eight thousand dollars. This roof's not even going to cost that. It's going to cost probably about, I don't know, two or three grand, you know, and that's if I do it myself, which I don't have a problem doing. So, and I got to tell you guys something funny. <laughs> You guys know that uh, me and my ex-husband, you know, we still we still talk like I think maybe once every I don't know four or so months, you know, he'll just pop in and say, you know, how are you doing? Just want to check on you type of thing. And um, so he calls me. And of course, you know, this is by the time the fence is falling down, you know, the, the, the shingles are, are rolling off the roof and he's calling and I roll over. I see Vince on the phone. And I'm like, I'm not even I, I don't even want to deal with him right now. Right. So he calls me over the next two or three days and I just ignore him. I ignore him because, you know, I've got my, 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 my stress is up to my eyeballs. So finally I, I pick up the phone and he's like, I just wanted to check on you. You know, how did the house, you know, fare out? I'm like, the fence is gone. The roof is gone. I said, uh, you know, I said that it's okay. I said, I just really need help, you know, doing the cleanup. So he, he always offers to help but never quite shows up. You know what I mean? That's the reason why we're divorced. And uh, pretty dangerous. Just saying. All right, guys. Well, it was real. It was fun. I know it's only been 20 minutes. If I get home and I find out I have internet, I will um, come back live and spend some more time with you guys. But again, if you guys would like to donate, um, I will be going to the grocery store. I'll get it all recorded so you guys can see what I'm, I'm purchasing and, and things of that nature. But I'm just, I'm really going to, I think, just get up, uh, pick up a lots of water and a lots of canned goods, you know, probably more so soups because, you know, I mean, I'm sure people need side dishes like corn and, and lima beans and stuff like that. But Soup, a can of soup can really feed two people. So I think I might go that way. It might not be what they like, but, um, uh, you know, we won't do any more tomato soup, though. We'll make sure that they have no more tomato soup. We'll make sure it's clam chowder, chicken noodle, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, stuff like that, and loads and loads of water. I'd like to get, uh, if we have enough money, I'd like to get some diapers and some baby formula as well, because I'm pretty sure that that's some of the stuff that they're really short on as well. We got to take care of the babies. You know, some of these women, you know, they, they can produce a lot of milk. Some of them just can't. So. Uh, when they are out, which I hope that they find other arrangements. They had already gotten notification that they had entirely enough water. They've got pallets and pallets and pallets and pallets of water right there, right now. Uh, what they're in need of is food, non-perishable food items, the Bullhorn Betty Channel, and all the wonderful, beautiful people that donated. We were able to donate bags and bags of diapers, baby wipes. We weren't able to get any baby formula, but we got a lot of canned goods, um, spaghetti, um, fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, we got uh, soups, uh, every kind of soup you can imagine, not tomato soup. Um, what else did we get? We got side dishes, didn't we, Olivia? We got side dishes and all those things. The only thing we didn't really pick up was like meat because they don't need meat. Uh, we even got things like um, instant coffee, you know, the coffee that you just put scoops into your coffee cup and have a cup of coffee, hot coffee, you know, we're the coffee club, right? Uh, we believe in the product. <laughs> so we know the importance of having your cup of coffee in the morning. So we actually got these folks instant coffee because we know that they don't have electric. We know that they don't have power. They do have water. They can make do if they need coffee, um, heating that up on a, a propane stove or something of that nature. So uh, guys, kudos to each and every one of you. Again, I'm only a conduit of each and every one of your beautiful hearts. And we were able to get this done. I don't know how good my service is here. Um, I'm on hotspot and we are in the zone. We are in the zone. This is the, this is the, um, the spot. And as you heard coming into this, the officer says we cannot get down to Fort Myers Beach. There's no way. It's, it's, clo it's not closed by them. It, it's closed by the, the carnage and wreckage. We can't get there. For each of us, uh, for this uh, channel, and uh, we did great today. Good job for everyone that's involved. We're out here. We're trying to find people we can help. We just help the community, um, and, and that's something that nobody can take away from us. So, again, uh, thanks to all the people that donated. I know all the people that are here with great hearts. They donated their love and their support of watching uh, Hurricane Ian when they could be on other channels, watching other stuff related to true crime. I realize Hurricane Ian is not true crime related, but it's my backyard related. And um, no matter what happens in the state of Florida, if we have issues, um, we are going to help. That's what we do. That's what this channel is, is built on. It's built on love and it's built on helping victims. Sometimes the victims are murdered. Sometimes the victims are kidnapped. Sometimes the victims are fighting with acts of God. So that's what we do here. That's what this channel will always represent. Whenever you come to Bullhorn Betty channel or support anything related to Bullhorn Betty, you know that that is going right back into uh, the community, uh, any community I serve, because I travel all over this country. Right now I'm in Lee County. This is like two or three counties away from my county, uh, but we're here. 
Uh, it's not all about the footage. It's all about bringing us and bringing our help and bringing our name and exposure to help these people. Um, you know, look at what we did yesterday. We were able to raise almost $300 for grocery in, in a matter of an hour for these folks, in an hour. That's what we can bring to the table with social media and what we do. There you go, folks. That's what we're, we're, we're riding in. Look at this. This is some extreme stuff here, folks. This is why Bullhorn Betty and Chronicles of Olivia joined together and came out here and helped. And while we have haters out there that are trying to thwart the work that we're doing, helping, helping victims of this out this window, helping these victims, and you're trying to thwart efforts, you're trying to victimize victims again. I just want to let all the haters know you are despicable pieces of shit forever thwarting the help of Bullhorn Betty in a time of need. Shame on you. I'm not the despicable one. You need to make right with God because what you're doing to these people and hindering the ability of people to help Red Cross ain't here, folks. Okay, go donate your money to Red Cross. But let me tell you something real quick. Red Cross ain't here. They're not here. We haven't saw one Red Cross building or car or truck or anything. So you go donate that 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 money to the Red Cross. Go ahead and donate it. Because I guarantee you, Bullhorn Betty got the shit done a lot quicker than the Red Cross. Just saying. You guys can get to a bigger um, screen. Get to a bigger screen because I'm about to, we're about to go buy a trailer park. In over here. I know, but I wanted to get. Okay. Literally everything. Just to let you know, sporting the bullhorn Betty shirt. If you guys have not gone over, okay. these people have lost everything. Literally everything. Just to let you know, sporting the bullhorn Betty shirt. If you guys have not gone over to the merch store to pick up your bullhorn Betty swag, everything that you purchase helps this channel. We're press. Yeah, we're with press. You guys see this? Holy moly! What? Guys, look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Can you guys see this stuff? Leveled. That's boats on top of boats. There's nothing left here. There's nothing left here. I'm taking you guys with me on with, with the computer, and then I'm gonna move over to. Oh, smell is bad. Oh my gosh, guys! Hold on, let me change to my phone. All right, guys. I want you guys to see this. So we're here. We're here in North Fort Myers. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> guys, if you guys can go start going into some chat rooms and letting them know that I'm out here live. Um, let me turn the. I'm gonna turn the camera around for you guys to see all this stuff.